everyone, it's me, Katie Beth again. And are you ready to see Male Wolf Santa Fe, New Mexico with me? Uh, yeah, let's go check it out. So when you first walk into this location, first you go ahead and pay. But after that, there's a little bar that you can sit at, which is very convenient, and they do have alcohol, because you're gonna spend the next five minutes of your life here just setting up the app that goes with the experience. It's an interactive app, and yes, they do kind of want all access to your phone, which is a little frightening, but I really wanted to enjoy the experience. So yeah, I let it have my location and ability to do pretty much whatever it wants on my phone. A little concerning, but I want to enjoy this entire experience. Now let's head on in. But first let's check out the warning signs they have here for us. There's going to be flashing lights, dark spaces, stairs, low overhangs, uneven terrain, and theatrical fog effects. So that's a little something to think about. Hello and welcome to our house. As we enter, we're in a dark yard of this enormous house. You kind of look over at this mailbox, and on your phone pops up a mailbox message. And knowing this place is interactive, you go and open up the mailbox. And it has a little note in there from the agent that was just talking to you on the TV. And it basically just tells you that now you're the custodian of this house. It's under quarantine, and you need to find out what's happened and report back. This next note that's in the mailbox really sets off the tone for the start of our experience before we go into the house with even broken things are beautiful. And now let's see what's in the rest of the house. So it looks like we're in a child's hidden nook place. And our phone pops up with another message. Grandma Jean told me that if I ever feel afraid, I should write about it. She said I feel things differently than other people do, so I have to be careful about how I approach these feelings. Now setting off to explore more parts of the house. And we're in a crazy spaceship looking area. And here's the low overhangs, the warning at the beginning was talking about. I'm like scrunching down to fit in here. Coming into this dimly lit room feels really creepy. Hey, do you remember that voice that you found hidden in that recording? When we sped up the recording by Planck's Constant? Yeah. I doubted that we would ever be reunited. That I would ever hear our song again. But with this agreement, this charter, we could work with the anomaly and build a new world on the corpse of the old. So that creepy message on the app was a lot longer, but I wanted to show you more of the stuff that you could hands-on explore in this room. So you can go through the people's journals, and they, this one is, it's, uh, it's a little creepy. And this was like this buttony thing, and I love that everything in here you can touch and play around with, which makes the experience so much more fun. So this was kind of funny and scary at the same time. After I sat in this chair, I realized that the hologram here was telling me to come closer and to come around and see on the other side. And then she's telling me to press buttons here at the bottom. Okay. Nikolai? Yes, clouds would separate and form wild. Nikolai? They were made out of 
cotton candy. There was a star that was... Nikolai! Flares were shooting. I wish I could describe what I'm seeing. But then they started to circle each other. It's almost as if he's trying to integrate into this world. Everything was happening on a fast scale. Yes! Nikolai! You know, to my knowledge, I'm the only creature on this planet that can manifest these mental spaces, let alone travel to them or bring people along. Your knowledge shall be instigated to that of me and exponentially create until we inevitably destroy the same structures and maintain these fragmentations. I gathered the shadows together. I told them, if we could get the anomaly to leave in us, we could end our oppression. And then we end up in the front of the house again by that mailbox that we started at. So we go back in and find more weird stuff. There's honestly so much more stuff to see here, but we gotta start heading out to catch our plane back home. This is our community outreach room, and it is for all ages to come in and enjoy. You can do something as simple as coloring your sheets, or you can create something. I love that. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Um, about the room it is carnivorous flowers and above you are the tongues. So these are crafts that other people have made and left here to display. Pretty cool actually. I want to stay and make stuff but we gotta go. And they do have a gift shop with $95 sweaters and other expensive souvenirs. So just leaving me out little Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, I had a great time. I thought it was going to be exactly like the one in Denver, Colorado, but it wasn't. Like there's still crazy stuff, but this one more, it gives you a phone app on your phone that you can follow along to the story and find different clues. I was kind of in a hurry, so I didn't completely follow along the story. And it's still a little like sporadic and weird, but there was more of a story I felt like. Also, I wish I had known this before going like, before I had to leave, but you can buy 3D glasses 
um, for two bucks and it was supposed to make it like a little more trippy and people said it was cool, but since I have to leave, I didn't want to spend an extra two dollars. Also give yourself more time than just an hour and a half, two hours. Cause I went over the time limit I gave myself and I'm still rushing out. So uh, it felt really rushed to me. I wish I had more time cause some of the, the things to follow along on your phone, they're like a five minute listen or more. And if you're continuing to follow along on your phone and do all of the activities it has, you'll need more than two hours. I just thought I'd be good with like an hour and a half since the one, the last one I went to, like I felt like I pretty much did everything. But as I was leaving, there was still plenty more to do. And there was still like three different things my phone didn't pick up on. But the guy at the desk did put the code into my phone so I can look at the ones I didn't get to. Overall, I had a great time, really recommend it. Like it's cool for kids and families. I feel like I had a lot more fun because there weren't a ton of kids running around, but it would be really fun for your kids too. Well, thanks for watching everyone and thanks for experiencing this with me and have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone.